Hi, welcome to Crafted Sweetly. I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. Recently, I've been playing around with alcohol inks and making scarves for this local um, shop where um, local artists, crafters bring their stuff. And one of the things that I've been doing is various alcohol ink um, projects. So um, I just want to show you how I dye the scarves this is all silk um, it's five inches by uh, 54 inches and i do have a link below for where i get the various supplies for this so i've got the scarf i do have a, a cardboard underneath here just in case i get the alcohol ink on the work area and then i'm using t-rex inks for this i do like their inks they're super strong a little goes a long way and then I have some alcohol just to dilute a little bit as I'm working on it. And then the other thing that I'm using is rubber bands because I want to create some kind of pattern to it versus just sort of ran just kind of dumping the alcohol ink on it. So I'm taking the scarf and I did iron this. You can still see some of these marks on here from the way it was folded and shipping, but uh, for the most part it is ironed. So. I will take the scarf and fold it in half so that I can kind of start creating the design on it or not design but getting a kind of a pattern on the scarf whoops all right so I fold it in half and I'm going to fold it in half one more time and you can really play around with this and do all kinds of different designs with it. It's not just to this. So I fold it in half and half again lengthwise. And now I'm folding it this way in half. So let's do one more this way and this way. So really you can do anything as far as this. Now once I have it with, you know, fairly easy to work with, I'm going to twist this a little bit on one end and then add a rubber band to it because I want to make sure this is tight so I'm going to wrap this around several times and this will prevent the ink from going underneath the rubber band as strong as it would here so it's not preventing it entirely but it will be less no you know just the, it will be more of the white would show on there so I'm going to continue twisting it here and we'll see what kind of design we end up with. Okay, one more time maybe. All right, there's the rubber band. I just wanted to go over that little hump so I don't end up with that white area. There we go. Okay, and this is sort of rounded here. I mean, I, I think this is okay. Or, you know, I can do it like this, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more. So this is more twisted here. And more just to hold it together, just twice. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do to color it, or what, the point that I've um, twisted it and put the rubber band on. And at this point, I am going to put gloves on just because I don't want my fingers to be all pink and red. And I'm doing this particular scarf for Valentine's Day as one of the scarves that I'll take to the store. And the store's name is Handmade Haven. If you are in the Cleveland area, um, you can check it out. Lots of different artists, again, and all sorts of crafts. So I'm going to start off with the pink and the alcohol, this alcohol, the 91% alcohol, I put in a smaller bottle because it'll be easier to control, uh, you know, when I'm adding it to the scarf. So let's take this one off. It'll be just pink and red. So I'm going to add some pink here. There's no particular, nothing, you know, right way or wrong way to do this however you wish and add some red and 
and notice there are lots of white areas what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add the alcohol to it and that's going to make the ink kind of run into the white area so it's not so polka dot it you know or the design is more subtle as it transitions from the red to the white or the pink to the white so I'm fairly generous with this because I want to make sure that it's almost saturated so you notice here it's a very strong line here so I'm going to add this and that makes it more you know just a nice transition like this as you can see here I think I'm going to add a drop of pink right down the middle here Okay, I think that kind of does it. I'm gonna add maybe a little more in the middle here just to make sure that the color, I don't end up with one big white blob in the middle. I think it's pretty saturated at this point. I'm glad I'm wearing gloves, otherwise I'd have the pink and red all over my fingers so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rubber band off to kind of release all these design you know the scarf so that it doesn't keep um, soaking in from the other area and uh, let's see I'm gonna get some scissors so that I can cut the rubber band here I think it would be a little harder to get this off without cutting it so And do check out my, if you haven't joined my Facebook page, check it out. We have lots of creative members there doing all kinds of crafts. Um, so please do check that out. Okay, so now once I open it, look how cool the design is. Isn't that pretty? Just very almost tie-dyed kind of effect to it. And then once um, you take the rubber bands off, then I soak this in a solution that's water, vinegar, and salt. So I just put the scarf in and let it sit in here for about three to five minutes so that the color sets into the scarf. So now that the scarf has dried, I've ironed it and it's just beautiful sheen to it. Um, the pattern is random I just love that and I think it would be this would be a perfect thing for like Valentine's Day colors but obviously you can do whatever color color combinations you would like if you have any questions please comment below um, would love to see it if you do create this and again I do have links below for the supplies that I've used in this video and if you have any questions you're welcome to join my Facebook group as well and post them there Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next crafting project.